you guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to talk about exfoliation and i'm going to talk about most popular types of exfoliation which is the physical exfoliation and chemical exfoliation so for the physical exfoliation we have you know a lot of different methods like uh, face scrubs uh, shaving wax but today i want to talk about shaving and why it's good for the skin before starting then please understand that everyone has hair it's natural it's completely your choice if you want to shave or not it's not a necessary it's optional so if you f if it makes you feel good then keep on shaving if it doesn't make you feel good then please do not shave it's not something that you have to do but not only shaving but waxing is also a type of physical exfoliation because when you uh, you know wax your skin it also takes out all the dead skin cells that has been accumulated on the skin but today we will particularly talk about shaving i've been personally using shaving for more than three four months and it has been working really well because it not only gives a you know clean canvas for my skin but it also gives a very mild exfoliation physical exfoliation that my skin really likes and i feel like after two three days of shaving my skin feels much much better and also the products or ingredients that i use they work much better on my skin but it is totally your choice it's not something that is compulsory we have two types of hair vellus hair and terminal hair so the peach fur uh, invisible type of hair that you see on this skin that is called vellus hair and the more darker and bolder sort of hair that you see on the skin that is called terminal hair and it's all, it is all over the skin so shaving not only helps to remove those hair but it also gives a very nice physical exfoliation for the skin by removing dead skin cells by removing debris and it also helps to make the skin look much more clear and brighter coming to shaving it's not for everyone if you are someone who has eczema psoriasis active acne or very 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 sensitive skin or sensitized skin you should never 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 shave your skin it will not only irritate your acne but it can also cause a lot of discomfort and irritation on the skin so if you suffer from all these categories do not not shave your face but then these categories you can pretty much shave your face if you shave before care and after care is equally important so if you shave make sure that your skin is never dry when you shave you know put anything which is lubricant which can glide your shaving razor easily on the skin and this will not only help any sort of irritation but it will also prevent any sort of cut that you might end up having if you use your razor on dry skin so always make sure your skin is wet with something a moisturizer toner or thick serum or oil or aloe vera gel whatever you feel like but make sure your skin is wet and also once you shave your skin never go in with any other sort of you know exfoliation so for example don't use salicylic acid retinol or any sort of these ingredients because it can irritate the skin because your pores are actually open and you've already given a type of exfoliation to the skin so it can be overdoing for the skin so never use any sort of physical or chemical exfoliation once you have shaved your face moving ahead with the other types of exfoliation that is chemical exfoliation and the most popular type that you use is hydroxy acid there are a lot of types of uh, hydroxy acid AHA, BHA, PHA, LHA and many more are coming but the most popular that we use is AHA and BHA now AHA is alpha hydroxy acid it has like lactic acid, malic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid and BHA is also known as salicylic acid so today we will be talking about salicylic acid salicylic acid is an oil soluble ingredient meaning that it will be helpful to treat oily and acne prone skin and the molecular size of salicylic acid is very small so that it goes deeper layer of your skin to take out the oil plus and any sort of dead skin that has been accumulated under your skin and it is very helpful to treat oily and acne prone so I have two products from the Dermagon the first one is the 1% salicylic acid gel face wash and the other one that I have is 2% salicylic acid face serum from Dermaco. Now I've been using these on and off because this is not something you can use daily so I was using this alternate days and this is something that I'm using once a week because my skin is pretty sensitive so I cannot take uh, you know exfoliation more than once a week for my skin. Coming to this 1% salicylic acid gel face wash this is a very gentle face wash the surfactants used in this face wash is very 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 gentle it has the gel like texture which doesn't form a lot however uh, decent enough to clean your face and i feel like once i wash my face with this face wash it feels literally like a very smooth canvas because it literally takes out all the texture from my skin and also this gives a very gentle uh, exfoliation to the skin which i really really like so in case if you're someone who is a teenager or a beginner and if you're not sure what to use for your exfoliation how to start so i think you can try with this because it's gentle at the same time it will give you a very mild exfoliation again coming to the two percent salicylic acid serum from damaco this is again a very good product it's give a very good exfoliation this is something that i use weekly 
perfume contains 2% salicylic acid which is very helpful to take out all the oil plugs from your skin it is also very very helpful for acne if you have a lot of clogged uh, you know pores on the skin or blackheads or whiteheads this one gives a very good exfoliation serum also contains witch hazel if it is used in lower percentage it is very helpful to control excess oil and sebum from the skin and also this serum contains willow bark extra which again is a very great ingredient for oily and acne prone skin because it helps to control excess oil and sebum from the skin and i feel like overall the formulation is also very very hydrating because usually salicylic acid can dry up the skin but with this serum i haven't feel anything like that and it is pretty hydrating and uh, personally for me i feel like it has you know helped to control my inflammation or breakouts or acne and i've used this serum when my skin was inflamed and i was about to have acne and this literally helped to control and heal my skin within a night and i overall really like the formulation and i think this is one of the best salicylic acid serums i've tried because usually salicylic acid is something i want to stay away from because it can kind of dries out my skin which i do not like since i have dry skin and i have a very sensitive skin also but this one the formulation is really really good so in case if you're looking for a good salicylic acid serum highly recommend you to try also always make sure to do a patch test and follow up with the sunscreen during the daytime because salicylic acid can sensitize the skin if you do not use broad spectrum sunscreen all the products from damaco is designed by dermatologists and I highly recommend their range and if you choose to buy from damaco's website you can also use my code sukantha2022 which is going to save you 20 percent on the entire range and the damaco is also available on nika flipkart and amazon but my coupon code is only applicable on the web site and i'm going to leave all the links in the description box for you to check and yes that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this and found this to be helpful let me know if you have any queries or questions in the comments below and i will see you very soon with another video till then please be happy take care of yourself and bye